guys, it's me. My name is Fila. Fila, this is my salon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, my hair again. Oh, my, I'm going bald. My hair just fell off. Oh, no. Help me. Help me. Shush. Shh. Stop talking. Wait, it's a guitar, right? Or violin. Is that a violin? I need to... Uh, that's pretty cool. Maybe it's a guitar. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. I want to ride my bicycle. That's really it for this floor. Look, the bike just flew off. I just finished my meal. Hope I'm in focus. Am I even centered? Probably not. I'm too lazy to readjust the camera right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bring Me Up with Scotty. I'm Scotty. Who you are watching? Be Miss, where I bring you crazy bricks. That's not Lego. Nah, chill guys, it's bricks. It's plastic, man. Same, same, but different. You must know me by now how much I love, love, love Oxford Block. If you don't know, they are an alternative Lego brand that's been around for a long time as well, but they are based in Korea. So if you haven't heard of them, that's why they stay in Korea. They don't go anywhere. So now, you can get them from me. Well, some of them. Now, before you get your panties in a bunch and ask me why is it so ex expensive, just for that very reason, it's not supposed to go out of Korea. So a lot of these Oxford Block sets are like limited, they're crossovers, they get discontinued really fast, and they are super expensive. They might not be your thing, but after I fell in love with the original game room, I'm like, I gotta have more Oxford Block. And then I opened the online shop and, you know, try to help everyone get their Oxford Blocks from my store, pickmeupscotty.com, which is this is available right now if you go get it. It's pricey because shipping and COVID and all that crazy stuff that's going on. I sure hope you guys are still safe. Be safe. Anyway, this one is brand new from Oxford Block and I saw this rendering. They put it up like last year. I'm like, I gotta get this thing. This looks amazing. And after building it now, I can tell you, let's just look at this thing. This is Oxford Blocks, the village street shop. ST33356, 2,237 pieces. Yes, what you see here is one set. You get three small little buildings. Unique, different, I like it. And I do have the box. Let me show you the box. The box is actually pretty cool. You know, if you want a box, I keep telling you when we can send you the box, but you know, when you see the size of this thing, it's quite expensive. Without the box, this thing can crumble down pretty small. So you save a lot from shipping. I can't see myself on the camera there. There's the box. Oh, lovely. Okay, if I flip it around here. Don't need the set, Scotty. Can you see that? Hi, peekaboo. Yeah, modular. And you get two manuals, one and two. Very easy to read. And you know, a lot of people ask me, how come none of their sets have been knocked off? I don't know. That's a good question. That could be my future business right there. Just take the manuals, buy parts, and sell them as my own sets. Nah, I wouldn't do that. But, you know, they do have a sheet there. Here, freeze frame that. You're in 4K, you can see what parts you need. And Oxford does have a couple of parts that are just unique to Oxford Block. They might not be able to 100% replicate it, but there you go. Nice manual, very easy to read. You also get figures, but they are not the standard mini figures. I'm kind of bummed out about that. I mentioned that last video and it's like, uh, I think probably for legal reasons, I had to change it, or this might be a set that will be available everywhere. You know, if you guys can get the set like on G Market and eBay, just go for it, man. You don't to get it from us if, we're, if you find we're too expensive, but there you go. You got figures. We'll look at those guys as we look at the set at the same time, get a couple animals and you get a little car, which We'll see right after I show you the overview of this. Look at this. All together, they look so pretty. I love the look of this thing. I was like, yeah, so satisfying. Yeah, it is a little bit small. I'm like, oh, it's a little bit tiny. And it is a little bit minimized on the interior. That's okay, man. You know what? It's something about Oxford Block that I love that it's like simple. It's sort of close to Lego. They kind of just do their own thing. They're not doing crazy mocks. They're not doing these really weird designs. Sometimes simple is okay. It's okay, guys. So the good thing about these little babies, 
They don't have to be connected together. You can split them apart like that. They have the mount down below, so you can keep them connected together. They go together this way because the staircases on both sides face out. I mean, you could kind of like swap it around, go like that. Actually, that still kind of looks okay to me. Or, you know, if you wanted to push, I'm knocking over all the bikes in that shop. All right. We'll go like that. Double staircase. If you keep it like this, it looks great. The only problem is the shop in the middle, the music shop, there's no staircase to go up to the second floor. Someone was pointing that out, like, how do you get up to the second floor? Well, you know, you just, it's supposed to be sandwiched between these buildings, so it doesn't really matter. Gotta use your imagination, man. We'll start with the first building, which is the sports bike shop. Ooh, you know, I like the fact this is nice and light. I can just show it to you guys like that. It's kind of cool looking just on its own. This one has the colors of a typical Oxford block set, which is like the Dunkin' Donuts, which is now discontinued. A lot of Oxford blocks have now been discontinued. You can't get them anymore. Get them while you can. You might be paying a little bit more for price. You know, you gotta import these things and all that, uh, whatever, you know. Get it if you can, anywhere. If you like it, if you see it, don't wait, man. You wait like two or three years, gone. Gone forever. Look at all those bikes there in the front. So many variations on color. It's like a rainbow color of bikes. Now you can't complain. Got every single color there. Have you ever seen so many bikes in a set? I don't think I have. That's actually really cool because like all different colors and they're kind of held down. Some are loose, but you know, they're kind of in between the studs there. They're not gonna like really fall over unless you, unless I drop this thing. You know, I'm gonna drop this thing sooner or later. I like the fact that it's all tiled. The staircase is tiled. The insides are all tiled, outsides are all tiled. You know, a lot of Lego sets, they'll just be like studded looking and plain. Well, that's just me, man. It brings out a little bit more mm, this set, which I like. On the second floor, you've got the bike sign. Yo, I love when they do like pop out words like that or 3D pop out. You guys know me how much I love pop out stuff that's built in brick, not a giant sticker. Okay, so like letter K is not perfect. I'd rather have this than a sticker though. And if you go up, I like how they have two more bicycles mounted on the top there. That was pretty interesting. And they mount it right there, a little hook, so it goes into that piece. Pretty simple stuff, man. But boy, they make it really stand out so nicely. You do have a sign here. Yes, that is a sticker. It says bike shop on it, nice and pink. The sticker is on both sides. So this set actually does have stickers, not a lot. The quality is kind of different. It's like the texture almost feels like paper but you can reapply them if you have to. And it's not like symbol ones, yeah? They get stuck on there and you're screwed forever. So you technically could like peel those off or use them later. Minimal design on the front. I like the little brick walls that they do add there on the side. And then we come to this side here. It's all windows it's open, which is cool, man. You can kind of just see straight through this thing, although there's not much in there. You know, you can probably like add your own doors here and swap it out and like put another entrance there. Probably what you want to do with the music shop later. Continuing on, look on the side, nothing there. So small, I'm gonna get through this review in no time. That's what I always tell myself. I like this side, very cool staircase. You got a soda machine down there. There are no sodas inside. Sold out, man. I guess you can put your own little pieces in there and put some sodas down there. It's a very simple design. We've probably seen this a million times, but to me, it's like I'm looking at it for the first time. Maybe my memory is going, Scotty, man, you're forgetting everything. See how simple that was? I love the design, the color, the look of it. Now let's look on the inside. Be prepared to be a little bit disappointed. I mean, I was like, oh, I wanted to see a lot more, but then I'm like, oh, you got three of these things. Then the inside, you walk in, and yeah, there's not much in there. It's simply tiled. You only have two bikes inside there. I like how they're displayed though. They're kind of popped up. You got a pink bike and an orange bike, and you got one shelf there with bike helmets. On this side of the wall, you have some tools. You know, you can always use an ax. Sometimes you get frustrated when you can't click the gear. You need the ax to whack it a little bit. Get that bike going. You actually do get extra tools in their spares in my spare baggie. By the way, if you've been buying Mold King, keep their bags. They're really good to keep spares in. But there, oh, let's see if we can get a focus. Some more extra tools there, buzzsaw, drills, shovel. Maybe you can decorate the shop a little bit more. And you can see here, more extra spares. Or maybe I forgot to put those pieces on. Then you got a counter here with a couple catalogs, stickers, the bicycles there, and cash register. It looks like an inventory list there. That's about it for this floor, look. Yeah, 
so simple. It's okay. Maybe you guys are like, oh, I wanted to. I'm paying that much for this set. I want a lot more stuff in there. So now we come to the second floor right here. It's so small. Here's a door from the staircase. If I put it back here, you can see where it goes there. There's the door. Open up. Second floor. You do have a sticker right there. Second floor skate and kickboard. Kickboard? Or the main scooter. Is a different name out there? I just know it as scooter, man. And you know what? Everything comes off very nicely. And I should mention this. I forgot to mention it last time. The corner pieces there, I think those are like kind of new for Oxford. They kind of wrap around. Yeah, I've never seen that piece before. They're kind of cool. And hey, look at this. You don't have to put a second floor in it. You can make just like a single floor. Same deal as the bottom floor with the tiles. It kind of looks the same. And yeah, it is barren in there. Wah, wah, wah. But on the display window, they managed to fit two skateboards in there. The yellow and a pink one. And a couple of scooters here on the floor. Does Lego make these scooters? I just can't remember if I've seen this type or not. There goes my age thing again. We got a green and red scooter and a, the counter. The counter is the same as the one down below. It's just different stickers there, of skateboard and a scooter. This computer screen is different from the one below. So I do like that those computer screens are all different. They're not the same, not repeating. But as you can see, it's a little bit plain, but that's it, man. And finally you got the rooftop. And I do like how they make the rooftop a little bit thicker. Like, yeah, it's nice and thick. It's like double layered. They have an air conditioning unit there. Yo, I'm done with this one. That was so fast. Wait, you see the other ones. They might be even faster. Cute. I still like the style. It's my opinion, man. I'm a huge fan of Oxford. I don't mind if they keep it simple. I'm still going to buy their stuff, man. You know, maybe you can buy like two or three of these and mock it into like a bigger modular building. So there you go. That's the bike shop. All right, we're looking at the second building, which is the music shop. I like the color combination. It's brown, but it's like a nice color. It's not like too crazy. Along the front here, you got a fire hydrant, some railings, and some flowers. Nice, pretty little flower combination there. You got the entrance that goes into the first floor. And look at the sign. Oh boy, piano keys. It kind of does swivel up and down. Oh, I love this though. And of course, same like the bike shop. You got the music sign and fun man it looks good i love the guitar on the top the guitar and the piano keys kind of sold me on this shop i think those sticking out and the music sign itself it's like so nice man that's all i need without the buildings in the way you actually still get like windows on the side oh excuse me yeah that looks that looks kind of cool you can see through there same deal on the other side there i kind of like the stripe brown Look at that vibration along the back as well. There's no way to get to the second floor. How, Scotty? How are we going to get there? It's not worth it anymore. There's no value. It's like Goonies, man. You got to push the piano keys in a certain sequence. The trap door will open to the second floor. Let's look at the first floor. Da -da -dum. Comes off just as easy. Now, the first floor is actually pretty empty. If I go like this, oh, there's only like the counter. Two pianos, but the grand piano. You know, I built a couple of grand pianos in this in my channel, if you've seen before. But I think this one is probably one of the best ones. But just to show you, yeah, without that piano there, it's like empty. You do have one cash register there and a different screen. Nice. But yeah, that's like super empty, man. But this, I love this grand piano. And the fact that you can open it up here and there is some detail there on the inside. Oh, that's nice, man. And they just have a couple like trans clear pieces there to hold it up for the display so it won't fall over in the, sh in the shop when, I'm, when you're dropping the sets. Oh, I just like it. Maybe it is a ripoff of another piano. But I just don't remember seeing something like this, which I really enjoy. Behind that, you got like a more simple keyboard. Yeah, that's nothing to talk about. That one's too simple. So you play a couple of keys here like this. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. And then you get magically transported to the second floor. Now this one, the center is empty, but the edges have a lot of little stuff. You got here, the drum set. It's sturdy, it's in place, that's great. Nothing's gonna fall off there. Got this giant speaker in the back. That's like some back to the future speaker right there. It's gonna blow you away. I like that. And I kind of like how everything's mostly brown, even the items, it's kind of like the same tone, which is good. Look at this turntable, man. This is so cool. It's even got a little speaker on there. And I think 
that single piece is kind of an Oxford block exclusive. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've only seen that. You know, maybe Lego does do it now. I don't know, man. That's a cool record player. I dig that. You got a couple guitars here. And you got the same guitars that are facing out where the music sign is. I like how they're being held with the clips. Nice. You got two electric guitars there. Oh yeah, facing out. And then finally you got two violins. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, cool. You know, sometimes it's okay like this. I'm gonna be like Scotty. You got ripped off. What? Same deal with the rooftop, that thickness. But I love this. This is so cool. It's worth it just for this thing. Got a antenna up there for your television. There is no television. It looks like more pipe things going on there. Ventilation for the music shop. There you go. One more to go, guys. Finally, we got the hair salon. This one is probably the craziest looking one. I'm like, oh man, that's a bunch of colors. But I think they were trying to go for the whole 80s vibe. When you see inside, oh yeah, you'll be like, oh man. Okay, so here you go. There's the hair salon. Got a bus stop there in the front. So at least it's a little bit different. The bus stop is a little bit too simple. It's just like seven pieces there, the sticker on it that says bus stop. But at least they varied it up. You know, they could have just put more flowers and just left it blank and put rails. And I probably still would have liked this thing. Okay, the color is a little bit crazy with the blue and the yellow, but I think this is what they were going for. I like the second floor, how the shutters open and let the fresh air go inside. You know, I like the display that's going from the first floor to the second floor. Got some wigs down there. Sticker inside it that says new style. And the awning, they tried to do the whole barbershop thing, the red and white. That probably didn't work for me. I think that would have been better if it was like a different color or had its own barbershop sign somewhere. Under the shutters, you got some flowers, the saddest looking flowers ever. Underneath that, another sticker. Beauty, luxury, hair. Yo, I dig the sign, hair. The R and the A actually look a little bit too similar there. And they put it sideways. The girl is awesome. I think she's pretty good. She's a little bit loose. Like if anything pops off, it'll probably be her. She almost has that South Park thing going, yeah? Hey, guy. Welcome to my hair salon. Oh. Yeah, because it's just being held by a single stud. But it's easy to put back on. I like the little bow on her hair. That's a cool addition, man. Got some pink rails along the top there. We come to the side here. We do have the staircase that goes up to the second floor. Underneath this staircase, how cool is this? You got a little, little arcade machine there. It has some studs inside floating around. A little joystick there. Oh, I always love these things, man. I'm a sucker for these things. I see these things, I'm like so happy already. I gotta mention the staircase is like super sturdy, man. And I like the design of it. A little transfer bricks there. And here's a better view of the back with those two colors. If you like it or not. This one may be the most far-fetched one for you. Same deal with the glass panels on this side. So small, okay, let's look on the inside. This one, For being really plain on the inside, not much in there. It's nice that you can still get your fingers inside there. So you come in the front door, you got a coffee machine, nice. And then you got two chairs that are reclinable. You can lie back, get your hair cut. Now look at this back wall. This is totally 80s vibe, late 80s, 90s, right? It's like Saved by the Bell. It's all right, cause you're saved by the bell. You know the intro, like the flying triangles and stuff. That's what it looks like, that's what it reminds me of. Got some small drawers there. Again, the drawers I think are specific to Oxford Block. I don't think Lego makes drawers that size. Got some hairbrushes there. And you got two more mirrors on the back wall. Stickers on there. So yeah, this one's more like a, a color thing, whether or not you like this is it too far fetched. And But at least you get, you've got three different choices. You know, one has to be sacrificed, like her. This is the second floor. Come inside the door here, and you got two chairs again that recline, but this is where you dye your hair, and this is where you shampoo your hair. And it looks like they have a little table there by the window, so you can sit there, chill, open the window, breathe some air, maybe do your nails. And there's the display window there with the items inside, a blow dryer, another comb, and another mirror, and a brush. Same item as the one below, different color, all pink here. And here's the back of the girl's face. She looks spooky there. It's like, no, no eyes. Almost the same thing with the rooftop, double layered. I like the pink fence. And this one actually has like a laundry. We've seen this in the Shin Chan Crayons house. I still love that house so much, it's over there. 
one of my favorite sets, man. Still available. You can get it while you can, man. It's gonna disappear real soon. I think it's been sold out since day one. Got this little itty bitty car. Woo. Woo. It's like a smart car. This thing is really cute. Watch. This is the only thing that's not perfect. You can see down below, the studs here is where it's being held in, being pushed down up. If you take this apart or you try to put a figure inside, it'll probably just all collapse on you. I'll show you. Why not? It can fit one figure inside. We'll put this guy inside. If I were to go like this and be like, okay, I'm gonna push him down like that. And then you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna push it on top and be like, oh, oh, oh. So it'll be like that. These parts are secure. It's actually kind of crazy looking like that. Yeah, so the, the things that go from down up, you don't want to push down too hard on it. But it's a minor nitpicking thing, man. You got a doggy and a cat. You know, I'm not sure if it was this cat, but someone was mentioning like one of the cats from Oxford Block. It's like the same mold as Playmobil. I have no comment about that. You got the figures here. All right, these are not my favorites. You know, I prefer the original figures, but you know, Play it safe. You guys got plenty of your own figures. Use them. You got the girl here. Very simple printing. A reminder, you can twist their body and they just look a little different. Not my thing. She looks fine. The printing looks a little bit off there on her shirt. And then you got this lady who's just very plain. Nice smile, nice hair. There she is. So you got this guy. We'll start with the oldest. I like his outfit. But there's a gap between the legs and the, the stomach area, which makes it just kind of odd looking. There he is with this chiseled looking face. He's probably going to buy the grand piano. You got this boy in white who looks pretty happy. Maybe he's buying a scooter or bike. Yeah, pretty, pretty standard stuff. He looks just like the girl's outfit, but different color. All right, then we got this guy in red. He definitely looks more like an employee. This hat on. I don't know which shop he works at. Maybe he's your barber. Gonna cut your hair off. Got a little beard there. Printing is pretty standard and minimized. None of these guys have printing behind them. Last but not least, you got this guy. He probably looks the most cartoony with his eyebrows and his teeth. Like, -hee -hee -ah. I don't know what he's gonna do. Maybe he's just there to play the little machine on the side of that salon. Here are all the figures on the set. I'll do a quick room by room comparison. Yeah, pew. Here they all are crammed in the bike shop. No studs to hold them down. So, you know, when you move this thing, they may fall over. There's a lady, needs to buy the ax. At least you can fit a few figures in here, which is nice. So upstairs, the girl's trying out the skateboard there. The guy's buying some catalogs and that guy's flying on the scooter going, oh, it's going too fast, help me. Three or four figures per floor. Makes it a little bit more crowded looking. For the music shop, I think it's comfortable with three figures inside. One at each piano or keyboard. Boy, the grand piano actually looks a little bit too big now. He's like, oh man, this thing is massive. And then on this side, you'll probably put one more figure there. Kind of wish I had studs on the floor. They won't fall over. Oh, tick, 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 that'll cost you. $1,200. For the second floor, having the middle open, actually kind of nice because you can put more figures standing around and it still looks pretty okay. There's a girl by the speaker and the turntable. And that lady picking a guitar out. This guy is rocking it already with the electric guitar, like, yeah. And of course, we have the drummer over here. No drumsticks, no chair. Hey man, this is a shop. You're just supposed to buy your instruments and get out. Now they all need a haircut. So for the salon, four minifigs is just about right. And hey, you know, you have the extra wigs there in the window, you can always switch up hair pieces. So there's the guy having some coffee, the guy in red about to cut these ladies' hairs. What hairstyle would you like? So I put that one lady in full recline mode. She's about to go to sleep. There you go, you get an idea of what they look like there. So finally in the last room, ladies buying some brushes. Couples hanging out, chilling, waiting for their turn to get their hair dyed and shampooed, which these two guys are doing right now. Having the time of their lives. 
Now, one thing I found out that was interesting about these figures is these guys can't really sit down. None of these figures can sit down. It's like an Oxford block flaw. If I sit this guy down here, he's just gonna fall over. He's positioned the most forward he can go. The arms are out and every figure will just fall over. Good job, Oxford. You nailed it. Ah, so you've made it this far. That means you've almost completed this video. Congratulations. You sat through me. Even I can't sit through myself. Anyway, time to look at dimensions. We'll do this real quick, then we're gonna drop this sucker, and I'm working on another video already. More videos, more little new sets up there. Okay, so if we look at this here, these two are the same. They are 20 studs by 24. The one in the middle is a little bit smaller. It is 16 studs by 24. So for the entire length of this, you're looking at 56 studs. There's no staircase here. They should have added a staircase. It would have been a little bit bigger. Now let's break out the one by four bricks. Check the height. We'll check the height of this antenna. This seems to be the highest point of this. We put the bricks there, stack them. That's around 23 bricks in height. Now, if we were to knock off a brick here and a couple of bricks down here, maybe the whole thing, who knows? Break a couple more off here and there and here and there. Bring this down to about 18 bricks in height and it's kind of like the height of the rooftop pieces. Well, the pink one's a little bit higher. You get the idea. Cool, that's your dimensions. Now really quick before I drop all these sets, a lot of you want to see comparisons to modular buildings. Makes the video a little bit longer. I try to cut these things short, man. But here, I might as well show you. This is Oxford Block Mars, the last one that I reviewed for you, which is actually, oh, it kind of goes together, as you can see. Now, if you were to use another brand, we'll pull out our favorite Jingbao. Jingbao, where you at? Whoa, I almost tipped this thing over. This is the grocery store. So you can see for size right there. Massive. So big, man. It's like those movies where it's like the little guy or the little building sandwiched in between like big buildings. Let's pull out another big building. So this is the afternoon tea house from Mold King. So it's a totally different vibe, different scale. Personally, I think Oxford is like really cool if you're gonna do like a little mini city area, not necessarily huge, which, which is a good thing, man. I'm running out of room too. Does it go with the other older sets here? <sighs> Ooh, this one's collecting dust. This is a much older Oxford block set I have not reviewed. This is the toy shop. It's even smaller. Go up there, it's kinda cool. Whew. All that dust. This one's new from Oxford. We sell this as well. It's a radio station. Oh, maybe I don't even have to review this. I can just show it to you like that and be like, yo, I like the details in this one. A little bit studded, but it's cool. You've always wanted a radio station, right? There you go. That's what it looks like next to this Oxford block. You need more Oxford block? Here's another new one. This one we also sell. This is a crossover one. So this is probably gonna get discontinued pretty quickly. The mattress shop. Have you ever wanted to have a mattress shop in your city? Look at that. Quick sleep. That's kind of cool. Oh, I like it. Quaint little thing. It matches more of the radio size, but there you go for height, scale, and size. This is Oxford Town. I'm pretty sure these are gonna hold in. I don't know. Sometimes life is unpredictable. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Bikes flew off. Oh, well, the bike flew off on the inside too. So many bikes falling everywhere. Second floor is totally fine. Signed, everything survived. Soda machine popped off on the side there. Yeah, it's intact. I'll find the other bike later. The music store. Five, four, three, two, one. Second floor, yeah. Grand piano was a little bit loose. 
Everything else stayed intact. And it looks like only the sign came off. The music sign. Oh yeah, it's on this floor. Even this held in. So just to see. Yeah. I'm happy with that one. Last one. Oh, I think a lot of things are gonna fall off this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I was right. I was right. Oh, the wigs fell off on the first floor. You know, I'm surprised the bus stop didn't fly off, just a sign. Second floor. Uh, the brushes and this easy to put back on the dryer dye machine thinger majigger. Yeah, even the hair sign stayed in there. Oh, the laundry thing flew off it's right in front of me, though. Thank goodness. Oh, I gotta find her hair now. Her hair somewhere on the floor. Hey, not bad. Yes. So there you guys go. This Oxford Village Street. I personally, I'm a huge fan. I love it. I think it looks great like this. Okay, so it's a little bit minimal on the inside. That's fine with me, man. Whether or not you like this, we don't. Just hope you enjoy watching this video. And we're done. I can get out of here. All right. Thank you guys so much for liking commenting don't forget to subscribe i'm gonna try my best to give you guys more videos as fast as i can i'm working on it man all right you guys until next time pick me out i don't know i'm putting myself out this time i ride on a bicycle out of here pick me out ding, 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 ding. you don't bring me flowers Hair today, gone tomorrow. I'm gonna use this guitar and see if I can make a jingle for Oxford Blood. Oxford, Oxford, why you gotta be so expensive? Oxford Blood, you sexy fuck. Why are you so offensive? Your sets are so damn expensive. Yeah, song, songwriting is not for me, man. Skate or die. Skate or Die. You remember that video game? Classic, man. Village. Village. The village. The village people. Dan, dan, dan. Dan, 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 dan. Dan, 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 dan. Ah, yeah, 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 My camera dropping? Looks like it's going past my head now. Okay. Just you want to see anyway.